guys, welcome back to the channel. I just spent the past hour building something that is actually insane. And I cannot believe I just built it in an hour. This is going to literally change the way that I run my YouTube channel. I created an AI agent that's going to research my YouTube video topics, generate scripts, and send me daily emails with trending topics as well. And I could do this automatically all in an hour. In this video, I'm going to show you my entire workflow of how I built it, right from not knowing what to build to having a built final finished product. So we're going to go through everything, give you tips and tricks. Let's get right into it. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Before I get into the actual workflow of building this AI agent, the first question is what is an AI agent? It's really not just ChatGPT with extra steps. Not at all. Because with ChatGPT or any other LLMs that you're using, you usually ask it a question first, it gives you an answer and that's it. But when it comes to AI agents, this is different because for AI agents, they have the ability to browse the internet. They can scrape data. They can access different websites or they can even have access to different automation tools like sending emails. It can even connect to different apps, analyze data, build automatic websites for you. And of course, it can also work 24 seven, which means that you don't need to actually prompt it to do anything. It can just run in the background without you having to do anything at all other than create it in the first place. So that's an AI agent. And I'm going to go about creating my first ever AI agent now. Okay, the first step is planning. And this is a part that a lot of people mess up because they jump in without thinking about what they need. We're going to plan things out. So what I did was actually sit down with my iPad and think what exactly do I want my AI agent to do? There were so many different things that I could have done. But I sat down and I thought of it from the perspective of what problem am I facing in my everyday life that I can solve now. I realized I spent hours researching for videos, trying to figure out what video ideas I should work on next, or even what project ideas I should work on. And that's something my AI agent could help with. So here's what I decided my AI agent is going to do. The first thing is to analyze competitor videos. And I'm using the word competitor here, but they're clearly not my competitors. I think I'm way too small a channel, but I just mean YouTubers I look up to, whose videos I like to watch, just people that I want to learn from. So I'm going to make my AI agent analyze their videos. Second, I'm going to generate 10 daily ideas based on trending topics. If Squid Games is suddenly out on Netflix and everybody's crazy about Squid Games, I want one of my ideas to be about Squid Games. That's what's trending. That's what the whole world is after. Next, I also wanted script outlines. I would love for my AI agent to automate this part for me as well. Next, I would love for my AI agent to automatically build me a web dashboard, a dashboard with analytics, with these ideas that it has come up with, just a nice user interface. I like to view pretty things and it would make my life so much nicer if I would be able to view it in a nice looking dashboard versus, I don't know, like a Google Doc or a sheet. Lastly, and the most importantly, this is a must have for me. I really want it to automatically have an email. I want it to email me every morning with latest trends, automations, everything. I basically want to create a whole YouTube research team that works 24-7 without me doing anything. Yeah, that, that's basically what I want to make. Step two is architecture. So for the architecture, I have kind of mapped out how exactly we're going to be able to build whatever we decided on in the planning stage. And I have a five-phase system. The first phase is data collection for this idea that we have. I'm going to first need to be able to scrape YouTube channel data, which means I would need to connect to some kind of MCP or maybe call an API that has information about existing YouTube videos. The next step is to do an AI analysis. After I'm able to get all of the data relevant, like information about all the top videos in the past week, I will then be able to plug this data into an LLM, maybe OpenAI or DeepSeek or Claude, any of those. And then I'll be able to do some sort of AI analysis, which means I want to be able to generate insights. And then I want to send myself an email that's sort of going to remind me about video ideas. Next, a good to have, but something that would be really cool as well is a dashboard. So I would love an interface to view all these ideas on. So that's phase four. The last phase is to actually automate the email process. So in phase three is just the Gmail integration, which means that I'll be able to send emails. But phase five is me being able to automatically send emails, like schedule tasks every single day. So this will be every day. Now that I know how to build this, it's time to go into the technical details. I've kind of narrowed down what exactly is the tech that I'm going to be needing for our full stack framework. Because this is going to definitely need a front end as well as a back end, I'm going to go ahead with Next.js. 
because that's just something that I'm very familiar with and something that I've been using recently. So that's going to be really easy. And then I'm going to use Postgres is going to help me store data securely, different ideas, maybe the scripts that we've come up with. So this way I'm able to store all of my historical ideas as well. For integrations with the parties, we're going to be integrating with the Gmail API. That's it for our architecture. Now, step is where things get crazy, like crazy, crazy, because we're going to be actually building this without writing any piece of code. And I'm going to show you how exactly we're going to be doing that. To do this, we're going to be using Deep Agent from Chat LLM for sponsor this video. I've been using Chat LLM for the past month, maybe longer, every day. They have a tool that lets you access multiple different models all in one place. And then when they told me about Deep Agent, I was curious to see how it would work. Could do things like research reports, which I've tried before. It actually works. It does quite a good research report. You can also build websites. It can connect to different apps and even browse the internet. And something else that could really do is that this PowerPoint presentation or this slides that I showed you just now, they were all created by AI. I didn't create them myself. They were all created by AI. So yeah, that's really the world that we're living in right now. Now I'm excited to try out Deep Agent. Before we do that, we need a really good prompt because the prompt is everything. I came up with a prompt that I'm quite happy with. I'm going to take you through it, kind of break down the different structure of how I went about creating this prompt and what it entails. So let's look at it. Let me zoom out. In this prompt, the first part, I have summarized what exactly I wanted to do. A very quick summary, kind of like a TLDR. So that's the first section. And then I have an agent goal. So that's basically what exactly this agent that I want to create is going to do for me. And then the next section, I've come up with specific tasks that the agent should do. This was relatively easy thanks to the planning stage. I could break down that I wanted it to do market research first, research the top 20 YouTube channels, generate content, ideas, titles, hooks, script outlines, create an interactive dashboard, which would be the website that we will to view all of these different ideas on. And lastly, I want the automation feature, which is to be able to send me emails. And in the last section, because this is specific to YouTube, I gave it my channel context. It's able to access the internet as well. I can tell it that my channel is Life of Gores and it's able to just search me up on YouTube and get access, which are cool. And then the last part is just a final call to action, what exactly it has to do. So now that we have the prompt I'm happy with, I'm going to plug this prompt into Deep Agent and see what it comes up with. So this is super exciting. So I've opened up Chat LLM and their Deep Agent and here I pasted the prompt that we had come up with and it's amazing because it asked me some other follow-up questions which I'm going to answer and the questions are really relevant, just more information that it needs to know before it can go about building our agent. For our agent to work and the automation to work, we do need to connect to Gmail. So Deep Agent is actually asking me to link my Gmail account as well. So this is perfect because I don't need to do anything. And now we wait for it to create our website as well as the Gmail automation as well. Yeah, the only word I have is wow. Okay, let me show you. It took around 10 plus minutes. I didn't actually time this part. I really should have. I don't remember how long it actually took. So this is the final thing they came up with. Let's try to move this. I'm impressed. The website looks not horrible and better than the other no-code tools that I've used so far. And let's see whether it was able to scrape the data accurately as well. This website is not dummy data. It's actual data scraped from the web. Total subscribers is wrong. So I don't know where I got that information from. And the views is probably correct i'm not that sure video count is not correct either and i don't know what this growth potential is let's skip that i don't need these key things but this is interesting it has come up with competitors itself i didn't tell it what competitors to use it came up with them by itself there's quite a few different programming machine learning ai tools type of youtubers in here interesting to see the trend analysis trending keywords is very useful because content opportunities. Cool, I'm excited about the content ideas. Here we go, Ideas Hub. The first one, I built an AI code review bot in 24 hours. It found bugs I missed. Okay, I'm actually impressed because this sounds like a title that I would actually use. It sounds like something that I've already created. 
But yeah, that's quite interesting. And the hook is, what if AI could catch coding mistakes better than senior developers? That's interesting. I really like the user interface. It looks so clean. This is the description, the thumbnail concept. It even has a thumbnail concept. That's really cool. And then there is script outlines. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. Okay, another one. Let's look at another one. Coding my dream job application tracker because job hunting sucks. Yep, that is very true. Another one is I replace my morning routine with AI. These are interesting. These are actually interesting. I like it. What's this? Building a dating app algorithm that actually matches personalities. Oh, wait, there's something that's actually fun. I will build that. Interesting. These ideas are not bad at all. I automated my entire apartment with $50 and some code. How? I want to watch this video. Even though the information is wrong, I'm impressed by the ideas. We're going to try and see what this generate new batch does. I want it to come up with new ideas. That's a way. And after this, we're going to test the email part. And let's see if I got any emails. I did get an email. YouTube research agent, email integration test. This is test email to verify email integration. Test successfully completed on 7th of July. Cool. And you had my email. That's why I'm super zoomed in. But it's basically, hey, Gori, dear Gori, this is the completed setup and the schedule it was able to send me emails so that's cool it is very cool i'm very impressed with deep agent and it was able to do things a lot faster than i would have been able to would have not been able to build this in an hour from planning to execution very impressed i still need to figure out the email testing part because i don't want to wait until tomorrow morning to retrieve the email so there should be a way for me to do that luckily i can look at the code okay they are using next so it's code i can understand easily i'm going to look through the code and figure out if i can let it send me some test emails so that i'm able to test whether it actually works but more or less very happy with what it came up with. I'm always impressed with what Chat LLM does and their team is really great and really like the tools that they have created so far. Check them out in the link in the description box below so that you can try it out yourself. Their basic $10 subscription includes three free basic deep agent tasks, which is quite a lot. You are able to build three different apps, which is great. And $10 is so much cheaper than having to pay individually for all of these other LLM models. Okay, let's do some reflections. So the actual impact of this AI agent is going to be to not only save time, but I think also in terms of content quality, I think the ideas it's going to come up with are actually going to be better than the ideas that I have come up with in the past because it's based on actual data, not just my gut feeling. While my gut feeling is important, when I pick out of these 10 different ideas, the ideas so far are genuinely interesting and I think you i would use this it's great it's also going to help me stay a lot more consistent because now that i'm going to be constantly getting fresh ideas every single day once i fix this email thing i would not have to keep thinking of new ideas because i would have an inventory of ideas already in place so if you're a content creator a researcher just somebody who wants to automate your life and try out different things definitely check out chat llm and the link down below the basic plan is ten dollars a month and you have access to three free deep agent tasks and the pro tier is twenty dollars a month with access to 25 deep agent tasks. I'll be so interested to know what kind of AI agents you guys want to create. Everyone has things that annoy them that they don't really want to do, like replying to emails, sending emails, maybe like job hunting or apartment hunting. All these things can be automated in this day and age with AI around. Because here's the thing, we're living in this fantastic moment where AI is no longer just the fancy search engine. There's so much you can do with it and it's just the beginning. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this cool and interesting and just something that maybe you learned something new with it and I'll see you in the next one.